gosh, my friends, this one has taken a really, really long time to do. But we finally got a new junk journal that I can show you guys. So the front cover ha obviously has this uh, bloody countess. It's, whoops, that's Halloween's feet. Uh, gorgeous drawing on it. Some really lovely little um, metal appliques. And I did the same to the side. I used this lovely russet taffeta and I really like this is actually the glue that I used it kind of came through and I thought that added like a warm kind of uh, look to it and also the cobwebiness of some of the glue I actually that's deliberate and on the back it's just fairly simple just the same little covers so there's three signatures as you can see it's quite a chunky boy but it does open quite nicely so on the front there is an envelope pocket and inside that envelope we've got uh, just some journaling, little journaling cards and uh, kind of, so this vampire lady has lots of families, uh, family that she used to, uh, live, I'm going to zoom in a bit, live, used to live with. So lots of tea dyeing as always, and I did lots of these as well. Uh, another tuck spot. So I've got a little coffin with an angel on it, because it's cute. This is a bookmark that I changed into a tuck spot. And this has like some old book pages uh, that I've changed into designs. And uh, now this is an envelope that came, uh, it's a gorgeous little envelope. Uh, Killstar used to do these little, um, these that held all of your invoices and they don't anymore. Uh, so again, inside this pocket, we have a little vampire tag. I didn't quite do as much embellishment on this one as I wanted to. However, the person that it's for um, doesn't really do embellishment. She likes having lots of little writing spots which is uh that's actually this is from a pair of tights <laughs> and i just added a little thing to it so you can pull it in and out and then i don't do that at all because of course not uh nice kind of halloweeny design as well to this one and again i just took some leftover paper from one of the tags and one of the coffin designs that i printed uh, more paper again I did a similar thing here just kind of took some leftover pieces and I love the designs on this and here's another one of those um, on voice so again this is actually a page out of a book with just some little pieces just glued on that you can write on and again some nice little journaling spots um, you can hide like receipts and things just some nice stickers on a generally plain coffin with some good stickers another tuck spot and again these are printing uh printers printed pieces just some torn and dyed uh this is leftover pieces of paper uh so a, a while ago i got a um uh, a book of ephemera, a, a bag of ephemera that was gothic in nature and it came with a load of this lovely uh, music paper but not a lot of it so what I did is I used a leftover piece on here with some just some old book paper here uh, leftover of some torn off pieces uh, of other decoration one of the lovely coffin designs and some stickers just to um, and this is again this is um, from another pair of tights I have been garnering them from all over the, the place, to be honest. So we've got uh, a little, I'm going to take those out and we'll look at those in a second. It's a little tuck spot. Now there was actually a, a misprint under here and this is upside down, which is why you can kind of just see a, a rose there. But I've used a mountainous book page, a tiny little bit of ribbon and an actual um, seal there. And this holds a uh no this is a print off again i should have put another um i try my best to add a print off and an actual uh recycled item per tuck spot 
but that wasn't the case with this one so it's just a print off with some back to some paper and some like leftover little bits from other things stickers and a really cute little design so that's that one again this one has a lot of ravens in it i really like the texture on some of these pages i left them too long in the the oven uh, again, this was one of those pages that had a printer error, as you can see, so I used some old fabric just to give it a nice texture and a misprinted page design where I tore off the bit that didn't print properly and inked it. And this side is always blank on this, uh, on this printer kit, so I took some of the uh, leftover note paper, tore it up and just like added some nice little designs. We have another little tox, tuck, tuck, tuck spot here with, it's got its, um, I think I, I wanted to try and do more of these, but I didn't manage. So it's just got a little uh, ribbon kind of, I need to make more things like this because I've got so much spare fabric. And again, there's a photo. I imagine that this is like the vampire's uncle or something. So she's got lots of these, so you can write notes and stories. This is uh, actually from a glove, this one, but again, I've backed it out with paper. I've added some of my ribbon that I make and some little stickers, but also pages and pictures from um, books, old books. And this is actually a proper old newspaper uh, that was wearing out. And I put that in there as well. If you've watched my Wine and Wits, you know what this is. This is a tuck spot. This is, uh, again, a, a nice little poem that uh, my grandparents told me about. Just backed out in coffee. Coffee dyed paper. And this is the infamous glove. Uh, again, backed out. But this, um, uh, I one of my favourite bras fell apart to the point I couldn't use it. So I washed it and recycled the fabric, which is what that is. So I did do a little tag. I need to do more of these kind of things. I just don't do them as much as I should. Ooh. Aha. Okay. I did do this upside down, but I thought it looked kind of cool. Um, and this is just a pocket. And of course, we've got some book pages again, some creepy book pages. But I also made, again, this has got a creepy book page in with a really lovely little rose. Uh, but I took um, some old packaging that folds over like this and I've just taken a load of scrap paper pieces and sewn them together so it's got like a little notebook. I used to love doing that so much for my junk journals and I haven't done it very much, so. Another tuck spot, and again, we've got one of those Killstar uh, labels. I really liked it when they used to do lots of different designs, but they've stuck with this moon one for a while now, so there's quite a few of those. Ooh, sticking out the bottom. And another tiny little photograph. So here is the second kit that starts showing up a lot more. Um, gothic in nature, and it's got more of these pretty designs in them. A little envelope again uh, i've got a little death um death certificate figure she could have her own death certificate in there which would be pretty cool i thought uh i did use some stickers but they didn't quite show up properly so i've learned my lesson but this is an old uh encyclopedia and i've backed out a piece of card from i think it's some crafting things another tuck spot oh and i did make another tiny little uh pin design there using some ribbon now this is just a leftover piece of card from my steampunk book but this bit kind of fit very well i thought with that design so it kind of worked and i figured another photo of another family member and another recycle i don't know what piece of packaging this is but it's recycled packaging this is also this is the backing for the sticker uh, for the lovely sticker that's previously in the book um and again there's some more of that encyclopedia table a poem and some washi tape just to tidy it up and we're just gonna clip those 
back in. Used some of my paper uh, ribbon and another envelope. Uh, tried my best to do the whole secure it via button. It does work, but it's a little bit tight. And I printed off two smaller ones of these. Now, again, I know I should do some recycling and put them in, but these just fit perfect, too perfectly. So I've backed them out. Um, so this one's just completely backed out with paper. This one is backed out with snippets. And then obviously you've got washi tape across the middle so she can write on it. Go on, back in. There we go. Another tuck spot. Uh, now these these two make up for it because these are both recycled so again i started off with again this piece is just a backing piece from a page that I'd cut out i did use some more stickers again i didn't learn my lesson there's one of those desk tags another photo and just backed again in coffee paper and then there's a larger one which has some paper um some printout cutouts some ribbons some of that lovely ribbon i've still got a little bit more of that left uh the music paper and again backed in coffee dyed paper. Put that at the back so that it shows off. And then we're on to the final signature. As you can see, I did back this out in proper leather because I had some left over from making a wallet for my dad a couple of Christmases ago. Oh, this is a pocket. It is a pocket, but it decided to spew out its contents. Uh, this is a leftover um, tag from some of my print offs because I print off pages of these things which is why I do scrap proper scrap junk journals, which are just bits and pieces that are left over. And I, I stuck a sticker on, stuck some moths and things and, and things like that just to, and backed it, just so that she's got some more writing space. And then again, this is a creepy book page uh, from an encyclopedia uh, with some extra pages and then some washi tape and just some nice stuff on the back there. Now this I'm super proud of. This is actually, so I'm going to open it up the wrong way first. If it lets me, it's decided it's having a, a moment. Uh, so yeah, I backed this, each of these sections out so you can write in them. And I've done the same thing the other way as well. So there's, there's again, we've got some uh, stickers, uh, scraps of this paper, and I've stuck it down with I thought I went for kind of a purpley one, which doesn't quite fit, but you know. Uh-oh, I'm gonna have to glue that back on. Whoops. <laughs> I'm gonna start at the very back. And I stitched this page to some uh, heavy stock card paper. So it's quite rigid, but it's uh, a vampire lady from uh, an encyclopedia again. Another one of those Killstar tags. And then the next page, uh, again, it's just a load of uh, ephemera, some stickers, uh, a page from a um, album and some scrap paper. Not quite as good. I do need to back these out more and I need to remember to do that on the next one. But yeah, just backed it out. And another one of those, this one's slightly more angelic in nature. Um, but again, I've just backed it out and put a little tag made out of the paper because I really do need to use that more. And then finally, at the very front, uh, other than obviously the design that I've done down here, I did another one of the um, the tags, but I cut out the bat and the raven from one of the pages that I'd used to do these bits on and glued them on here. So it looks kind of cool, I think, anyway. Reuse all your scraps, that's what Junk Downing's about. This is another label, I've put a tiny little uh, black bead on it. And then I've uh, again used some scraps of paper from the books pages and some uh, prints that didn't work and turned them into this and put this little sticker on the front. So that is that. Lovely, lovely lady with her cloak. And it I've just popped this on there because I believe this is one of the pages that came out while I was stitching. Again, you can see what I mean. Killstar has gone in for just the Killstariness, which is fine. They can do that. But I, I do miss the other things. 
and uh, this is a page um, I got a vampire ephemera book from Amazon just to see what it was like and I tore this by accident so I, I literally just stitched it all together and then did that down there so it looks kind of worn and new and interesting I say new I mean old and interesting okay I've got another uh, envelope here which I just uh, stamped added another of the Killstar oh it has a drawing on the back this one and then uh, I don't know if this is her sister or family members or I don't know that this girl has a story I didn't do anything to this page which I'm surprised about but here we go <laughs> there are some tiny little ones of these and I did do this has a little golden red oh sorry it has a little cat how gorgeous is that and then I've just included just that Oh, they've got themselves all. Again, loads of book pages all kind of um, glued together on a... This is, this is recycled. Um, so there's that, and then there's a non-recycled printable. I say non-recycled because I'm using all these old sketchbooks that I got given. Um, some of them have drawings in, some of them have my drawings. I don't want them anymore, so I'm turning them into something useful. So I suppose that's a good thing. That's what you should do. Uh, we've got one of these. I haven't used many of these. I normally do quite a few of these where you can open it up and write things in them. But I didn't do it on this one. And then again, we have one of the little art cards that I've backed out in black this time. I forgot I did that. But it's because there was some black left over from some other bits and pieces. And this is the recycled part. So what I've done is I've taken one of the poem bits, cut it in half. And one of the scraps of paper from uh, another thing. Uh, there's a corner of the raven's wing from an, another design, this lovely unicorn sticker, and then that photo of the sisters again. Just tuck that back in there. The lovely vampire lady herself. Another page. And then that is... I love this paper. Look at it. It's gorgeous. That is the book. Where did you come from? I'm just going to pop you in there for now. You can lady herself can decide so yeah i just need to glue that back on which is really strange because the glue i use is normally really really good oh i can see what's happened there it hasn't filled it up properly so i'm gonna go get that glue together uh i do hope that you've enjoyed this this was a year and a bit in the making uh, hopefully it won't be as long between this one and the next junk journal because i am going to be working on a a scrapbook junk journal and then another one of these gothic -y ones because i have so much gothic stuff and paper left over from this one to do uh so yeah hopefully we will see you next time and you enjoyed this take care have fun and goodbye